With planting season approaching, this week we talk with Nebraska Extension plant pathologist Lauren Giesler about soybean seed treatments. Soil temperatures at 4 inches Wednesday reached into the mid-50s in southeast Nebraska, while cooler weather helped lower soil temps in the west. When we talked Tuesday morning, we started by asking Lauren how soil temperatures at the beginning of spring have compared to last year and what that might mean for diseases. Well, compared to last year, we're a lot warmer, so uh, that's going to really affect, you know, what we're looking at for seedling diseases and what's coming on in the air. So what if people are still thinking about using a seed treatment for soybeans this year? They're on the fence, they're not exactly sure what to do. Well, I think a lot of the farmers have already maybe had their seed ordered with treatment. Uh, for those that are on the fence, I think this year, you know, my forecast, and every time I forecast that I can be wrong, right? But uh, with it, I think that, that we're going to see probably more Phytophthora if the soil temperature warm and we get those rains versus Pythiums, which were active more the last two years. We've had a lot of cool, wet conditions at planting. Um, if, if we Get, you know, maintain these warmer soil temperatures, uh, we go in and we get some moisture, that's where those fields with Phytophthora, because that fungus is active at a warmer temperature, and I expect that to be more of a problem if we get those rains and Pythium this year. You want to recap for me what Phytophthora does and kind of what impact it might have? Yeah, so Phytophthora root and stem rot's a disease that, um, you know, it will have some history in the field usually, that you'll have significant stand loss anytime you have wet years. Um, it's one that can kill the plant at any time. So from the seed stage all the way up through reproductive stages, anytime there's flooding or, or wet conditions in the field, um, you'll see those dark stem, that base dark on the outside from the soil line working its way up. Uh, so people that have had Phytophthora probably know it uh, in some way. And so just make sure in those fields you've got a good protection on for Phytophthora. You can also use resistant varieties. Guys have already made those decisions, but hopefully they've got some resistance in that field uh, and then they're looking at a good seed treatment. And the concern with Pythium is? Well, and with Pythium, that's one that's just, you know, it's everywhere. So pretty much when you get really wet conditions, particularly on fine textured or clay soils, uh, that's where you tend to see more Pythium issues. And, and it can be active during all that temperature from cool all the way up through the Phytophthora zone, but you tend to see more Pythium problems when you've got uh, cooler temperatures that kind of stress that seedling when it's coming out of the ground, and then that kind of makes it more easy, to, easy for that seedling to succumb to the disease. There's also a new seed treatment that uh, the university has been working with. Tell me about it and what producers might be able to know. Well, you know, we have seen, and it was it came out last year, and they did a lot from Bear the Levo product, and uh, we have had some some work with that, you know, over the last year, and uh, in fields where growers have sudden death syndrome, okay, and and sudden death syndrome is one that you know it is favored by those cool wet conditions at planting or early planting. So if we got warmer temperatures, we wouldn't expect to see as much. Uh, but with Alevo, seed, their seed treatment, uh, in growers that, fields that have SDS, uh, that's, a, that's a good option. Uh, the question is how much SDS do you have to have to make it profitable because it is a fairly pricey treatment. Uh, but with that, if you have a significant problem with sudden death syndrome, I'd really encourage our, our, our viewers to look at uh, Alevo as an option because in two out of three of our on-farm trials that were done with the on-farm research program, you know, we had good returns on that. Um, so it's just going to be a matter of how much they have, though. You know, the one that didn't see a significant gain, less, less SDS in the field. And Lauren, finally, what about seed treatments for soybean cyst nematode? Well, there are a few seed treatments out there for that. And, and so far, you know, we're not seeing significant gain, you know, in yield with some of those treatments. So if we're looking at, you know, Clariva's, uh, Syngenta's product, uh, Poncho Vitivo from Bear, the, the Vitivo part of that has some activity against cyst nematode. Uh, and then, you know, even the Alevo seed treatment that we mentioned for SDS, that, that's got nematicidal activity. Um, the problem with cyst nematode is, you know, unless you're in a really high population level, you know, which a lot of our farmers are not, you know, the return on that, I'm just, I'm not seeing that all the time. So you just, I just be cautious on that. And, and you don't want to use it unless you have cyst nematode, and then you may or may not get good return on that. We're still working on it, so I'm, I haven't said it's not you know good or you know it's it's not worth it yet i think the key is that if we get a dry august that's where you're going to see these seed treatments pay returns in the last few years when we've been working with them we've had really wet conditions in that fill time so we need that stress for those to return later why do seed treatments why are they so effective in august so late after you well it, it just it, it's it may be a little counterintuitive yeah. but the, the point is that that the damage is early on and you get injury to the root system, or like with cyst nematode, you've got all those parasites feeding on the root system. Well, if that plant's healthy in August and there's plenty of moisture available, plenty of nutrients, everything's going great, you don't see as much impact of that draw on the system. So that's what we're looking at.